The following steps will guide you through the process of roasting on an air motion roaster. Step 1. Make sure that all the dials on the control panel are in the off or zero position. Step 2. Turn the roaster on using the main on-off switch on the left-hand side of the roast chamber. Step 3. On the touch screen control, set the desired target temperature which will end the roast automatically. Step 4. Using the handle on the roast chamber console, pull it towards you to get access to the roast chamber. Verify the chute discharge door is closed and the roast chamber is clear. Step 5. Set the cyclone control dial to the on position. Step 6. Turn the blower control dial to 10%. Step 7. Pour your green beans into the roast chamber. Step 8. Place the roast chamber screen onto the roast chamber. Step 9. Push the roast chamber console back so that the roast chamber sits directly under the extraction hood. Step 10. Turn the blower control dial up gently so that the coffee beans lift to a height so that they are touching the roast chamber screen. Step 11. Turn the heater control dial to initial setting, normally between 90 and 100%. Step 12. Gently lower the beans in the airflow by reducing the blower speed to a comfortable height so that the roast chamber screen can be removed. Step 13. Replace with the bean retainer handle. When you become more confident in your roasting and establish your comfortable roast height, you may choose to roast without the bean retainer handle and roast by sight. Step 14. Switch the mode control dial to the roast position, passing through the prime position in order to start the roast and activate the graphs. Your roast has now started. Step 15. Keep the beans lifted in the airflow at all times. Beans become lighter during the roast, so the blower speed will need to be reduced to maintain proper height. Step 16. First crack. When the coffee beans reach the first crack, they produce a sound like popcorn popping. As soon as you can hear three to four consistent pops in a row, press the coffee bean icon on the touch screen and the roaster will start recording the following information. First crack temperature, first crack start time, development percentage, and the development time. Step 17. Ending the roast. Before reaching target temperature, if using the bean retainer handle, first slightly reduce the height of the beans in the roast chamber so that you can comfortably remove it. This also allows the water dousing to occur without obstruction if activated. Step 18. Once target temperature is reached, the roast will end automatically. Step 19. When the water dousing stops, place the roast chamber screen onto the roast chamber Switch your cooling tray on. Divert airflow away from your extraction hood to the bean cooler. Step 20. The beans may now be dumped into the cooling tray via the exit chute. And that's it. May you have many successful roasts ahead with your air motion roaster. Most importantly, don't forget, it's all in the taste.